Hi, I'm Beth with 50 Plus Beauty and I'm excited that you're here with me today to see my 2017 skincare faves. I'll be 60 in April, which is about four months. It's going to be a little bit difficult to deal with that, but I am here, I am with you. We're gonna go through the 50s, 60s, 70s, and 80s in a glorious way, ladies. But before I get into my faves, if you're a 50 plus beauty who would like to look and feel her best, please subscribe, just click the little bell. That notifies you of my future videos about skincare and makeup. Now, no skincare video would be complete without this wonderful little product, as you know, Retin-A. I have used Retin-A now for about 11 months and it has made a tremendous difference in my skin. It takes time to see results. For the first six months, you really won't see much in the way of improvement, but after the six month point, I started seeing massive improvements in my skin. Not only did my skin texture look better and younger and more even toned, my eyelids started to improve. In fact, I've got an incredible video that shows you the response of my eyelids to Retin-A. If you're in your 50s and you want the absolute best way to keep your skin young and healthy looking, there's nothing better than Retin-A. It's also known as Tretinoin, and it is the secret to fabulous looking skin. Retin-A gives you fabulous skin, but it can also give you peeling, irritated skin. And I have found something recently that I consider my Retin-A cure for all of that kind of yucky stuff we go through in terms of our Retin-A use in our skin. This is the Obagi New Derm Exphoderm Cream. This is a wonderful exfoliant. It's a glycolic acid cream. They say to use it in the morning, but I've never had good results using it in the morning under my makeup because it does cause such exfoliation and I don't like to peel during the day. But what I do is at night, after I apply my serums and my Retin-A, I use this as my final step. I use just a little tiny bit of this, maybe about a pea size amount, and I put it all around my face and then I go to sleep. And then when I wake up in the morning, it is amazing what this little cream has done. And what it's done is exfoliate my skin in a big way. All you need to do when you get up in the morning is just rub your hand along your skin and you can feel the little balls of skin coming right off your face. So what that does, it removes those Retin-A peelies. So throughout the rest of the day, my skin looks glowing and normal and younger. It used to be I'd go to work and about 10 o'clock in the morning, I'd look in the mirror and be horrified that I'd have this beard of peels on my face. But when I use this, it actually gives me the wonderful skin that Retin-A promises the wonderful, even toned, clear, glowing skin. At least for me, my skin using just Retin-A does not ever look clear and glowing. But when I added the Obagi Exphoderm in the evening, all of a sudden I had that great skin that Retin-A always promised. Can't recommend this highly enough. Now, Octoly sent me the next product and I've been using it for the last month or so and I really like it. It's the Skin Diva 20% Vitamin C plus E plus Ferul plus ferulic acid serum. I can't say that. What the ferulic acid does, it actually stabilizes the vitamin C and makes it not turn yellow as quickly. And many of you may know, but when your vitamin C serum turns yellow, that means it's lost its effectiveness and you need to throw it away. I really like this little vitamin E serum. Number one, it is less expensive than the Timeless serum that I was using. It's about $5 less expensive. I think the Timeless one is $25 and this is maybe $19.95, somewhere in there but I really like this for brightening the skin and for evening skin tone. What I do is you know, at night I do my skincare with my Retin-A and my other serums, but in the morning I cleanse my skin and then I use this vitamin C serum all over my skin and it really starts to even out my skin tone. It makes my skin look brighter and healthier. I can't recommend a vitamin C serum strongly enough to even out your skin tone, and this is a very inexpensive option. Now this next product is amazing to me because for many, many months of use, I thought it was doing nothing on my skin. This is the Niacinamide 10% Serum from The Ordinary, and I think it's between six and seven dollars, and it is supposed to shrink your pores. And maybe for the first six months I used this, I really saw no effect. And I thought, this is kind of worthless and I almost gave it up. But I am so glad I didn't. And friends, if you are using this, please continue using it. It just takes time to see the results. I've been using this for about the past 10, 11 months. And only in the past month or so, six weeks, I've started to notice that my once very large pores are really shrinking. When I was younger, I had very, very oily skin and acne and that kind of thing. And to this day, I have oily skin. And what that means is your little pores are getting bigger and they're pumping out that oil. So I always had large pores, especially in the T-zone area. 
Now, although I still do have some large pores, I can really tell that overall there is a shrinking effect that is going on. My skin is looking finer textured and more even. I am so happy with this product and I will never go without it. Now the next product I use for exfoliation, and I actually did a video about this product about 10 months ago, and I'll link the video below. This is the Perfect Image Revita Boost Peel Pads Level 2, and I found this product on Amazon because I was looking for some peel pads that had glycolic acid and TCA, which this does, and this product was incredibly highly rated. Out of quite a few hundred reviews, it had an almost five star rating, and I can see why. And I've had this product for 10 months, and it still has not dried out, and I have many more peel pads left. And I use this maybe about once every six weeks, and you just take one of the little pads, and I don't want to take it out because it will actually burn your fingers if you hold it for a few seconds. You take one of these pads out, and you put it all over your cleansed face and your neck, and let it sit there for one minute. And I do use my cell phone to time because you don't want to leave this on too long because it is rather strong. And if you're using these pads for the first time, I would just do it for one minute, and then over the next three days, you'll see a wonderful peel take place. And it's not that you have to stay home or anything like that, but it definitely will peel over the next few days. And don't actively peel them at all. Don't peel them off. Just let them fall off naturally. But you really do get a good exfoliation with this product. I am to the point that I use it for a minute and then I go ahead and apply it for a second minute and I get a wonderful peel with this product. And the reason that I switched to the peel pads is I had originally used some TCA acid on my arms and on my hands and they recommended, I think, a 30%, which is a pretty strong acid. And unfortunately, I got a little bit of a scar, although it did go away, but it scared me in terms of using those acids full strength. And I think these peel pads are a way to get the same great effect safely over time. And this is the Flawless Facial Hair Remover. And I did see this on Angie's channel of Hot and Flashy, and it is a wonderful little product. I think it's between $15 and $20. I'll put the link below. But what this is, it's actually a little electric shaver. It's got a little battery in there and it's got a little razor head and you just turn it on and I'll turn it on for a minute. You can hear how it sounds. It sounds just like a men's shaver. I'll turn it off, it's a little loud. But then you just go over your skin on your clean face and you just kind of go around with little circular motions and it removes all the little black hairs and the little peach fuzz hairs. I absolutely love this product. And for those of you who are wondering, it is a myth that shaving your face causes hairs to come in darker or more frequently. You know, you're not gonna develop a male beard using something like this. In fact, I have even shaved my face every single day in the shower for many, many years. But even having done that, there were days when I would look in the rear view mirror and I would see peach fuzz all over my face and I would feel really embarrassed about that. And so this absolutely gets rid of every little bit of that peach fuzz and it helps your foundation go on more smoothly. This is a good example of technology helping us solve our problems. It's a fabulous product. Now, many of you have asked how I keep my teeth white, and I will have to say that for some reason, I've just always had naturally kind of white teeth, but they do get yellow if I don't bleach them. And I've used the Crest white strips over time, and they're expensive, and they're kind of hard to keep on, and I found this fabulous little product at Dollar Tree, and yes, this product was only a dollar, and it is a wonderful tooth whitener. It works as well as anything I've ever used, and yet it's just a dollar. And for your dollar, you get this wonderful little tooth whitening gel, and this is the five minute natural white gel. You get that, and you get a little tray, and so all you do is you put the gel in the tray and put it in your mouth. What I do is I use it in the shower and if my teeth have gotten kind of grungy, I'll do it in the shower for maybe three or four days in a row until I get them to the whiteness level that I like. And then every week or so as needed, I'll go ahead and do it again to keep up the whiteness. This is an absolutely wonderful way to keep your teeth looking their best. Now the next product is called CarePost and it grows beautiful lashes and eyebrows. I used to use CarePost for many years and then for some reason it seemed to stop working and so I switched to another product for a brief period. But I still had some bottles of CarePost in my vanity so I went back to it maybe about six months ago and I am loving this product again. I think every now and then on these lash lengthening products, you do need to take a break and then come back to them. And that's what happened in the case of this CarePost. But this is a generic for Bimatoprost, which is actually a medication that was used to treat glaucoma. And as they were doing the test for this, they realized that their glaucoma patients were actually growing these beautiful, long, luxurious eyelashes. And that's what happens when you use this product. And at the start of using this product, they recommend that you use it every night. And it does come with a little eyelash brush. And what I do is I just take off the lid 
and put a drop in the lid and then use the little eyelash brush to brush the tops of my eyelashes. And then I also use a second drop on the tails of my eyebrows because I'm trying to grow them. As you know, I'm kind of brow tail challenged. This product is helping my brows to fill in and it's making my eyelashes very long. I am so happy with this product and I'll put the link below. Now my last skincare product is something that I use for my body care. And this is the Advanced Clinicals Retinol Advanced Firming Cream. And I have to admit that for many, many years, I never used a body cream because I just felt like it was oily and greasy and that kind of thing, and I didn't think it mattered. And I have to say my skin looked pretty good for many years. Then maybe about a year ago, I started noticing that the skin on my arms and the backs of my hands was really getting alligatory looking and dry and just old looking. And while we all want to take care of our face, as we get older, we really do need to think about the skin in our bodies. And what I do to make this easy to use is I put it in my shower and just leave it there. And after I patted myself dry on the shower every morning, I just take one pump of this and that's enough to do both of my arms and my legs and my midsection. And I've noticed that since using this, my skin looks moisturized and hydrated, and it just doesn't have that old crepey look that it was having earlier. Now, I always like to leave you with a little thought for the day. So let's take a look at this card deck, the Life Loves You cards from Louise Hay. Let's go ahead and see what God in the universe has in mind for us to think about today. Okay, here we go. Wow, I like this one. Life wants me to be happy. Life wants me to be happy. Happiness is your natural state. Life wants you to be happy. What is life teaching you about true happiness right now? Friends, that's a wonderful card because I think life does want us to be happy. And really in the second half, that is a journey that I'm really on. I'm really trying to learn to be happier. And what I'm learning about happiness right now, and it's something that's always been a problem for me, but I always think that the next thing I buy is going to make me happy. And on this YouTube channel, I have noticed especially that I have amassed lots and lots of different kinds of makeup of all types. And each time I buy something, of course I have to buy a certain amount for my channel, but there's always this idea that the next thing I buy, that's the ticket and that's gonna be the perfect beauty thing and it's gonna make me totally happy. And it's not just in material things that this is true for me. In my first half, I was very goal oriented and I still am, quite honestly, I like to set goals and get there. But I think I always thought, well, when that happens, like when I lose that weight or when I have that much of my savings account, then I'll be happy. And I was always postponing my happiness. And in the second half, time is short. And I've realized that the best way to be happy is to not say I'll be happy when, but to say I am happy right now with what I have. And in many cases, that means simplifying, not having as much and being happy with the things that I have right now, instead of thinking that the next purchase or the next accomplishment is going to make me happy. And that's something I want to do for this day, to actively practice being grateful and happy. Because when we do that, we can have a great day, a great week, a great month, and a fabulous second half. Take care. See you next time.